Welcome back to another editing video. I will be editing images from a gig. Not just a gig, it was Free Fingers gig. They are one of the best in Lithuania. I already selected the images. I had almost 2000 photos and I did a quick selection. I have not selected the favorites favorites, so I'll do that. Since the construction of the whole stage was quite difficult for me as a photographer to utilize this space because I was not allowed to go on the stage and I only used 24 70 millimeter lens it was a little bit difficult to get like a close-up shots or even you know I could not use too much wide angle because uh, three finger was always quite far away so I feel like these shots are less intimate and more in the, the whole area. And another thing that I realized uh, while selecting these images that I only started shooting landscape. What was this? This? Like this? Maybe not started because as you can see I already was doing it. But. I totally did not take any portraits and that is because since I changed my camera now it's the R6 Mark II but now I always look at the screen like this and started shooting like this <laughs> while before I used to always hold camera like this and it was just easier to hold and always like look for the Thing. Interesting how a gear can change how you take images. Anyways, I will now just select my favorite shots. Kind of wanted to document the behind the scenes. Didn't do it well, I don't think so, but that is okay. There were so many cameramen, so I'm thinking if I will be utilizing generative fill to, so I could remove the camera people or was it such a huge part of the concert that I should not be changing it? I really wanted to get a good shot of this because there's like there were two guys uh, in the suits uh, standing there and you know how the security guards are always very serious and uh, I just wanted to make sure to get a shot because it's such a huge contrast. It was so hard as well because Thomas was either looking at the front so I can only get the back or this one is I think the best one. Like this one might be the best one but I want more space near him. This one could be good. Yeah, maybe this one is also good. Just need to remove the camera guy. Okay, so what do we have? 44 images, that's a lot. I will ignore the backstage. I'm hungry, hungry. These colors are so fucking nice. Slight tint of green, cyan, and like colder tones. Love it. Nice, 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 nice. Love it. Ooh, this one. Love this one. I love this one. They both are performing. In my image, both of them. And it's freaking amazing. Of course, I'm gonna be using the other edits from other images just because it'd be insane to do otherwise. It's like grunge and these colors are a little bit washed out. 
I love how colors mix in here. I think my new camera is better at colors. It's just crazy, I know. I know it is. It would be stupid if it wouldn't. And sometimes it's really hard to notice, but I think I, I do notice it. Now let's just clean a little bit of things here and there. I think one of, one of the most important things are to keep things as natural as possible but also not everything needs to be like no one's gonna miss a fucking speaker right no no one needs that speaker in the image oh and this too unnecessary information we don't need it On another news, I got prescribed vitamin D and iron and I hope that now I will be feeling better, have more energy and just be happier because whatever has been happening in the November, I don't want to do that again. November, December was just freaking fucking hard. I almost quit photography. I was just like, nope, 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 I cannot. I don't want to do this, please, no. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm just so freaking tired of everything. Then January came, in December I started to drink um, iron, so maybe I felt a little bit better, but now I got even the higher dose, so we'll see. Everything would be good with this image, but this cyan color, I don't like it, but I need to create separation between the blue blue and this blue. Okay, sure, it'll be fine. I've been doing this for an hour and a half. I think that my brain has fried. I need a break. I need a break, I need to eat food, and then I need to go to my eye doctor to tell me if I can see or not, because I clearly cannot see anymore. I wish I could, because I got the eye laser surgery, but it's been two years. And I think that, you know, I work with computer, so I think I fucked it up again. <laughs> Wish it would not be true. Okay, I'm tired. This is not working. I need a break. I mean, come back. Look at my, look at my BG. I don't know how they're called. I went to eye doctor and they put things into my eyes and now So I don't see very clearly. Maybe it's for better. You never know. I don't like this. Sorry, an error occurred. It's fine. No, it's fine. That's fine. Nahui. Nahui. Fucking annoying when this happens. Did I save that one? Nope. 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 <sighs> okay. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just do my thing. I love this image. It's almost nice, but I don't like this green tint. I feel like the security guy is just very bright and I don't like the brightness. I want it to be darker, just a tiny bit, but I can't figure out how to make him darker. I also can't really see.
probably not ideal to generate people because it looks like this but let's see how it looks with the edit i think i can make it darker nice and now let's take this and put it over here no it doesn't work like that maybe something similar to this no and i like that there is a little blue in the corner I am almost done. I am quite happy with the images and how they turned out. This one without anything. Love it. I don't like the, what happens to the color. I like this color and I want to keep it. Yeah. Mm, such a tasty color. Oh, wow. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Very nice. almost want it to be like straight like this what do you think i don't know how how far can i get to actually like see it but it looks a little bit like fake it's gonna be okay like this but i love that color the color is prime Ooh, this too such beautiful colors i really never bother that much with editing but i really just want it to be clean and proper maybe i will delete the clock you can't really see it and it's definitely gonna look better without it i didn't have many close-ups these are the best i think close-ups that i got i really started to like tilted images they look fun they have like this motion but i still love a really good uh, central composition i don't know if this is central though the latter is this centered but he's very very on the right and i love how it's just a tiny tiny bit in between him and the frame like the side of the image the space above the people i think it gives a really nice balance the green the cameraman perspective going narrower at the very end on the left side something's beautiful about it we can't see thomas but we don't need to we can sense the good vibes and that's all it matters maybe it's nice that it was in the house i don't think i was a fan at the very beginning just because i felt like it was such a big distance from the crowd maybe that was an idea i felt the separation and it was hard i, I didn't I didn't like a lot of clutter. That's what I think I don't like the clutter. There's so much stuff that is so small and mm, just everywhere. But in this image, it wouldn't be, I think, as good if not in this whole scenery. And at the same time, Thomas is really good on the stage. He knows his body and it's so fun to shoot because probably not a single shot is the same. He is just so plastic, like his album. This one, I cleaned it quite a bit. I love this part, what's happening here. The highlights and shadows merging together and him in the darkness. At least one good shot of Domantas. I'm glad because it was hard, it was so dark. I didn't quite get movie lights, I think they were focusing on the that lighting and I'm not a videographer so it was pretty hard for me to shoot in the lighting I think but this shot good shot also a little bit tilted right feels like it I think I fixed the guy's head the colors are not like exactly what I wanted but I wanted the green tint in it I also wanted to be cool but I also wanted to be warm just a mix of everything I love that finger is just like so fly so like in his zone and this guy is just straight this is my favorite image and it's nice that i you know i thought about it and i was like i need to get that image i know that it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be that shot and it is that shot it's just such a good shot ah, love it this shot is iconic everything about it is perfect I think I was bugging at first that I wanted to have a little bit more space on the left so we could balance out the finger and the camera guy but then it looked off. This works somehow. This is just... I just 
love it. So much action happening, so good. A good whew, eclipse of blackness and then very nice lighting points. It's not like just like, whew, but clusters. These are fucking amazing. I did not expect them to turn out so well because it was pretty fucking challenging. Maybe that was the reason why I didn't... I didn't even look at the images until yesterday, which was Monday and the gig was on Friday. Over the weekend I was like, no, I'm not gonna look. I don't know, I don't trust myself. And it's always like that lately. <laughs> the better I get, the worse I think I am. Maybe because my standard for myself is like getting higher and higher and higher. I hope you enjoy my process and it's actually the honest process of how I do things. I don't want that bullshit anymore where I pretend that I edit images. I don't fucking edit those images. I just, I mean, I edit them, but the, I import, you know, layers. So and that's normal. That's the process. I will see you in two weeks with another video. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I promise it's gonna be fun. Thank you so much for being with me. And if you want, you can check out my shop. There are textures, there are postcards, there are prints, there's everything, whatever you want. Probably. Like, share, subscribe. You know, you do you. Whatever. I love you. And bye bye.